If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Downfall Network for more cool content. What's up everyone, Thrall's Bella here once again. I'm the Croc Neck and I have an unboxing, or rather an unbagging, technically, since I got a package here from Ungodly Ruins. I decided to get their grab bag, well, literally a bag, for I think it's maybe eight CDs. I can't remember, I ordered this a while ago. This came all the way from Russia, so, you know, it took a little bit of time to get here. And I really don't know too much about this label. I actually kind of looked into some of their signings and it seemed like most of it was brutal death metal, but there were some other things. So I'm kind of curious in terms of what I get in here. And I'm pretty sure that uh, these don't have cases on them. It just kind of feels as though they packaged all the booklets and such in there, which is fine, I have extra cases. But if you're interested in your own and if it's still going on, I'll throw a link to the record label down there. They seem like they have some pretty cool stuff, and namely what I'm looking for is a bunch of stuff that I've never heard of, and I think having a small Russian label might be the way to do it. So I'm gonna start ripping this open. Okay, a lot of saran wrap and uh, tape and stuff in Cyrillic, which I don't understand. Looks like, I don't know, wrapping for something, but we're gonna keep ripping. All right, sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard with, yep, no, I have no idea what that says, but it looks fiercely Russian. Or saran wrap. I do appreciate the fact that they actually took the time to package this and make sure it was safe. This is pretty cool. I think we got some stickers here too. All right. Oh, there's a poster, I think, too. All right, let's go over these little extras here. We have, Something for bio noise generator. I don't think it's a sticker. It's more or less a flare. No, it's a sticker. Um, yeah, bio noise or bio noise generator. It's really kind of hard to tell. It's a pretty squiggly logo, but cool. Got a sticker and pretty sure this is another sticker for, uh, you know what? I have no idea. And maybe I'll get a CD for a moment and I'll actually be able to tell you what that is, but cool logo. I just, you know, can't really make it out. Looks like it begins with B, maybe a A or an R. Hard to tell. Okay, then we got a sticker for the label. Death, Brutal, Tech, Gore. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get all of that in these releases. And another sticker for All Galley Ruins again. It's pretty cool. All right, we got a poster here. And... <laughs> I can't tell you who that's for. Maybe I'll get one of the releases. Actually, it looks like I might have, so I'll be able to tell you here in a minute. But I'm going to guess that's like blood and maggots and stuff. So, cool. Okay, rather than going through the stack of CDs and trying to make out what they say. I'm just going to go with the booklets here and then play the matching game later. Plus, there's also a pile of saran wrap all over this table. It's, yeah, it's a lot. Okay, so this is Gurgleectomy. That's what that one is. And I really don't know anything about this other than I have a CD and a poster for it. But it looks like this is just the single sleeve on the inside here and I think all the tray table stuff is on the bottom so we're gonna get all the booklets out of the way but yeah gurgle like to me don't really know much about them if I had to guess sounds like brutal death metal slam maybe I don't know we'll find out okay this one is symbolic and it looks like the album is meta something or other hold on here no meta noian meta noian Again, another event I don't know much about. More legible logo, I guess, but who knows, it's still probably death metal. Don't know if it's brutal death metal, could be, but eager to check it out. I mean, two bands that I definitely know nothing about, which is really cool, so that's a good start. So it looks like it's Slaves of Suffering, uh, Advent of Despair. Can actually read that logo. Looks like brutal death metal, but 
really can't tell you much about it because I've never heard this, which is awesome. That's three in a row that I've never heard of. That's why I love going after the small labels. They'll just throw you all sorts of like cool random stuff. You know, whether it's good or not, I'll find out. But, you know, pretty cool cover. So, yeah. Okay, well, looks like we have that bio noise generator one. And uh, what's this album called? Uh, Turbulent Biogenesis. So, again, what I don't know about, it looks like the most violent version of Little Shop of Horrors on the cover there. Or, you know, if you're a Godzilla fan, Violante with rabies. But, yeah, I know nothing about this one either. Um, it's kind of interesting that they have, like, all the members here listed and what they play, but it has what I assume is the Hertz. Uh, like, I guess they're telling you how loud or how heavy they are. I don't know. That's just kind of an interesting little thing to put on there. Like, you know, look at that. If you can see that, yeah, it's just... I don't know, that's kind of an interesting little thing. You know, it kind of caught me off guard there. But yeah, never heard of these guys before, so another cool one. And what do we have here? Impure Violation. And the album is... Lust in a Vulgar Display of Violence. It's not Vulgar Display of Power. She looks like she's having a rough time. Uh, looks like this is a three-piece. Looks like the guitarist also plays bass. And, again, a release I know nothing about, but I would definitely guess Brutal Death Metal. You know, doesn't seem to have, like, the biggest gross-out cover, so, you know, might be dialed back as far as gore, but not by much. All right, another cool one. Let's see what we got here. And Bludgeon Mint. Wait a minute. I think I've seen these guys. Yeah, these guys were at MDF last year, I believe. I think... I think this the the guys, yeah. Caught a little bit of their performance in MDF there on the soundstage last year. Pretty solid, brutal death metal. Definitely lots of uh, suffocation nods, which, you know, I'm cool with that. Looks like this album is called Infinite Regress. And, yeah, it's cool that I got this one. I mean, actually, that's one band I know, but I didn't own anything by it, so pretty cool. All right. All right. All right, we're, we're going to need the tray on this one here. We have Weakness with Demolition. And again, something I have not heard. Looks like the drummer is the vocalist on here, or the guitarist. I don't know, both those guys, looks like they're doing vocals, but yeah, I don't know much about this one. I don't know anything about this one, actually. That's, that's more of an honest statement. Uh, creepy cover, it's kinda hard to make out. I am wearing sunglasses, though, but um, yeah, don't know anything about it, which is cool. I wanted a whole bunch of stuff I had not heard before. What do we have here? Intense Hammer Rage? I can actually read that one. Better do kill than listen to this. <laughs> I mean, that's that's really, really debatable. Jesus Christ, that's dark. Um, I know nothing about this. More legible logo. This might be maybe more old school. I don't know. Again, I don't know anything really on this label. I just know it's fiercely underground, but yeah. Pretty interesting <laughs> album title. Uh, I mean, if this is really awful, I still don't think I'm going to kill anybody. But, you know, I'm definitely going to check it out. I'm going to check all these out. And I'll probably do a follow-up video to this at some point. Got a lot of stuff I'm jamming right now. But, you know, definitely let you know what I think of some of the stuff on here. At least pick out the favorites. All right. What do we have here? No way in hell I'm going to be able to read that. So, turn to the tray. Orgiastic Rebirth, Corridors of Repugnant Suffering. That sounds pretty gross. I kind of expected like more disgusting artwork on this one, but still that's pretty cool. No idea what this band sounds like. Uh, so they're wearing inherent disease shirts. Uh, dude looks like he's rocking a cannibal corpse hoodie. Always respectable. Really could not tell you anything about this band. I've never heard him before, much like almost all of these, which is cool. So, yeah, another another one that's going to be fun to check out. And here's the last one here. And, yep, turn to the tray. Saturno, Thou Art All. Sounds very preachy, but I doubt this is anything remotely uh, religious. Uh, I would say other end of the spectrum. Don't know anything about this band either. And I would assume it is Brutal Death Metal. 
we're gonna find out. I'm gonna guess, I would say almost all of this is Brutal Death Metal. If I had to guess, maybe I'm wrong on some of it, I'm gonna find out, but pretty cool box, or bag rather. Got a lot of cool stuff I've never heard of, and I absolutely love getting weird underground stuff. I've been listening to all sorts of weird underground stuff, and of course, Typo Negative and Testament. Those discography rankings are gonna be both tough and fun. But yeah, this was a fun grab bag, and I will leave a link to their website or Bandcamp. I think it was their actual website that had the links to the grab bag if they're still doing it. If you're a fan of Brutal Death Metal, I would say this is uh, one to check out because that's what I got. And I got a pretty fair amount of it, plus the poster was cool, got some cool stickers. So yeah, this is a really cool grab bag. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all the time. Catch you later.